What's up people, one of everybody's favorite VST plugins, Serum, just got a huge update, including some new filters, MPE or polyphonic MIDI support, an awesome new feature called Preset Hybridize, which I'm gonna show you guys, alongside various other features and performance improvements. So let's have a look at Serum's new update. So one thing to note, I think this is still in beta, so there are some things that might sort of change for the official release. That being said, is anybody who owns Serum can head on over to the forum and if you don't already have an account, you can create one there and download this exact version that I've got today. So with the new Serum update comes a new factory skin created by the guy who originally created the default skin of Serum and you can access it here by clicking on the Serum logo in the top and you can drop down and choose the Promethean skin. It looks awesome, I won't lie, but I'm very used to the original skin, so it'll probably take me a bit of time to get used to uh, the new Promethean skin. So I figured I would just show you guys uh, for the video, but let's pop back over to the default skin. Another small thing I wanna show you guys is that the noise oscillator now has a direct output. So this is cool, you can bypass filters and effects and stuff and send noise directly to your outputs. Um, it's a small thing, but the more and more little features that get integrated into the system you know, creates a sort of overall better sound design environment. So like I said, the new update features MPE support. For those that don't know what it is, MPE is essentially polyphonic MIDI. If you've seen these MIDI controllers like the Roly Seaboard or the Hacken Continuum, they allow you to create pitch bends on multiple notes that are being triggered at the same time. Serum now allows you to receive messages from MPE controllers, whether it's modulations or pitch bends or all sorts of stuff like that. So I believe it's still a very basic integration of MPE support, but that being said, it's pretty awesome seeing a commercial product that appeals to these MPE manufacturers. Oftentimes, like uh, with the Roly Seaboard, the plugins that it works best with are supplied by the actual company itself. So if you've made presets on Serum or something like that, and you get yourself a Roly Seaboard, you won't have the full MPE capabilities until the latest update. They've also added a couple of new features in the Wavetable Editor window. Here under the process tab, you've got various uh, settings that kind of use one of the oscillators to either sort of subtract or add harmonics to the other oscillator. I'm not gonna go in depth into these settings here, but play around with those and see what interesting things you can come up with. So like I mentioned just now, they've added this really, really cool feature called Preset Hybridize. How you access that is you go into your preset browser over here. What you have to do is, let's say for example, we wanna create a lead sound. So we can click lead over here and it basically drops down our menu um, to all the sort of lead sounds that we've got in our sort of preset library. What preset hybridize does is it takes one of your categories and, and it takes sort of elements from all of those presets and randomly jumbles them into a new preset using elements of all the presets within that category. Let's say for example, go here to this little drop down arrow and click hybridize from visible list. What it's done is it's created a completely unique preset using all of these presets that we've got here. Damn, that's really cool. So it basically takes a bunch of elements that are already in the sounds in your preset library and it just jumbles them. Um, I think there's a little bit too much like release on this one. So let's remove all the modulators there and maybe make it monophonic as well so we don't get that kind of like click at the beginning. Damn, that's awesome. And it just sort of randomly came up with that sound from nowhere. Another cool thing about preset hybridize is it allows you to prioritize a certain preset. So let's just use, for example, bottle blower. Um, I believe this is in the Serum Factory library. And what we can do is we can go hybridize favoring selected preset. So it favors the elements that are in this bottle blower preset and it creates a new one from scratch using this category that we've selected. So 
so it's basically taken like the sort of tone it probably leaves like the oscillators the same but changes like the modulations and stuff like that so that's a really really cool feature as well so the question on everybody's mind is how are the new filters and they're pretty crazy. So they're over here in the miscellaneous folder. They're not the kind of filters that I would probably use to kind of like sweep through effects, but they're very cool in a sort of like sound design sort of techniques. So I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So let's just select Scream 1 LP. This is just on a regular basic saw wave. So as you can see, they're pretty wild and unpredictable. But the cool thing about this is you can take a, something like a saw wave, which we all know, and create so many different variations of that, which you can then slap a traditional filter on and create your sort of regular type of sounds and stuff like that. That's awesome. So let's check out some of these other ones. Uh, let's check out Scream 2 LP and then we'll check out the other two. That's pretty crazy. So let's check out these other Scream 1 BP. I'm just going to put it again onto a regular saw wave. Damn, they are incredibly versatile. So you're able to get all sorts of different variations of, you know, filter effects and all sorts of stuff, distortion effects, bit crushing effects, just by sort of playing with those uh, simple parameters within the, uh, within the filter. So this kind of breathes a whole new light into Serum's filter section, which 
I think needed a little bit of a revamp. So that's pretty much it from the features. Like I said, there's a bunch of uh, performance improvements and stuff across the board. I hope you guys enjoyed my quick video on all the new features in the new Serum update. If you guys are a registered user, then head on over and grab yourself a copy of this because it is awesome. See you guys later.